For this example, we're asked to compute this path integral of the function y over x with respect to arc length, where, of course, and, and we're used to this idea, I hope, by now, but um, integrals don't make any sense unless you know what you're integrating over, so the domain of the integral. And in this case, it's the portion of the curve, x squared plus y squared equals 16, between these two angles or these rays determined by these angles. And so let's, let's start by sketching the region here. So here's a circle. Let's consider this to be the circle of radius 4 that's centered at the origin. And so here's our x and our y coordinate axes. The rays that we're uh, concerned with are first the ray where theta equals 0. So this is, like I said, this is theta equals 0. And then the ray where theta equals pi over 4, something like this. This doesn't have to be perfect, Just it's a sketch that equals pi over 4, and um, the curve that we're looking at is then the curve that's oriented, the path, I should say, is the path that's oriented from this point to that point. Okay, so then this is the point uh, 4, 0, right? And then this one you can compute is going to be what? 2 root 2, 2 root 2, and so this is where, this is the path that C that we want to compute our integral along. So the first thing that we need to do is parameterize this because remember our um, formula is to integrate this from a to b. I'll just write this symbolically. a to b f of x y or sorry we're going to parameterize the the curve or the path c with respect to some vector function. So f of r of t times the length of r dot of t dt. Okay and so we need to convert this path integral, symbolic path integral, into something that we can actually compute with, and we will do exactly that now. So, because this path is a portion of a circle, and we know, obviously, circles are parameterized by trig functions, we should take advantage of that, right? So our vector function that we're going to use is just going to be the vector function, r of t is equal to 4 cosine of t, and then 4 sine of t, all right, and I've used t here for the variable, the independent variable or the parameter of this vector function, but up here we're told that, you know, the angles are theta. Of course, the angle and the parameter t are the same, right? They're the same, so I just changed the letter. So this is going to happen, so this portion of the curve that we're concerned with is the portion where t is between 0 and pi over 4. And the other thing that we know is for a circle, the arc length element is just equal to the radius, right? So the radius um, times dt. So for this one our ds is just equal to 4 dt because it's a circle, a portion of a circle. If you don't believe that, you should work that out, okay? You should work it out. But I, I'm okay with it, so I'm going to go with that. Again, um, at any point in these videos, please, if, if you have to question something, pause it, work it out, and you can always come back and listen to what I have to say after you believe my claims. So at this point now, the other thing we have to do is plug in this parameterization into our function. And so our function is f of xy equals y over x. All right, but in terms of our parameterization, this is just 4 sine of t over 4 cosine of t, and that's just tangent of t. And so what we have to integrate for this path integral, the integral of c, y over c, y over x, ds, this is just the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of tangent t times 4 dt. Okay, and of course we know how to integrate tangent. This becomes 4 times the antiderivative of tangent, which is um, natural log of secant of t. evaluated from 0 to pi over 4, and then this is 4, natural log of secant of pi over 4 is root 2, minus uh, secant of 0 is 1, so this is 4, natural log of 1, and this whole thing then becomes natural log of root 2 to the 4th, and that's just natural log of 4. 
So the path integral of this function along this path right here is the natural log of 4.